Gabby with Oxford Fresh and today I am at Early Bird Coffee with Elio Caparici of Early Bird. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Elio, just really quickly, where are you located? When can people find out what time you're open? All that good stuff. Okay, so we are at 815 Juliana Drive, which is just off the 401 in the south end of Woodstock. So um, it's really easy to find us and very accessible. Um, our current hours are Monday, Tuesday, it's Friday, Saturday, uh, 9.30 to 3.30. Those hours may change, so just uh, check out the website or the Facebook for the updates. Yeah. Perfect, that's great. So if you're stuck in any bad winter weather and you just want to hop off the 401 for a sec, come pop in, check out the shop, buy some coffee. There's lots of cool stuff, but Elio, can you tell me maybe a little bit about the business so people can kind of get a good feel for what Early Bird Coffee really is? Yeah, um, so the original idea was fresh coffee and um, I just wanted to produce fresh coffee for the Oxford County region. Um, so that was the original idea. Uh, with the focus on wholesale, so uh, restaurants, cafes, specialty shops could could buy this local product, put it on the shelf, and uh, anybody interested can can go there and purchase it. So that was the idea. So um, it started with a small roaster, lots of practice, and then uh, taking the the leap of faith and getting the big machine, getting the shop, and uh, setting it up and and moving forward. Yeah. That's awesome. There you go. So if you're a small little independent business looking for some coffee, check these guys Anywhere out for in sure. Anywhere county or outside is fine. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. In the area. In the area. <laughs> um, so how did you first get interested in roasting your own coffee? Uh, you know, anytime I see any kind of food related shows that uh, catch my eye, I, I apply it. Whether it's some ribs or whether it's some chicken wings. And in this case, I saw people roasting fresh coffee and I thought I, I love it I, I would need to explore this a little more and uh, the idea stuck and it just I couldn't stop thinking about it I thought I need to do this I, I think this is something that would be received well in the community and uh, so I just went ahead and, and just made it happen. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And I heard that your first kind of experiment with coffee roasting was kind of unique. What were you using? I used a popcorn machine and uh, anybody at home can use their popcorn machine um, to practice roasting coffee. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple concept. You just need hot air and the beans need to be rotated so the popcorn machine worked perfectly. That's yeah. awesome, yeah. And look how far he's come with this. Yeah, this is so yeah, cool. It's like a giant popcorn machine. A giant <laughs> popcorn machine. Can you tell me a little bit about your beans and what kind of, um, where they're from, the flavor profiles, things like that? Sure. So our focus here is on top quality. So we're trying to source our beans from farms that are using ethical practices, whether that's uh, fair trade organic or rainforest certified. So that's our first step in working with suppliers that are working closely with the farmers and then once the beans are brought in here uh, the idea is to have a, a, a option a, an array if you will so we have South American African I'm looking into maybe getting some Indonesian beans in as well so that we can offer um, a wide spectrum and do a whole bunch of different fun things with the coffee. Okay, so I understand you also have a few exciting local partnerships going on. Can you maybe just tease us with a few of them? Yeah, so uh, the first uh, partnership we did was with uh, the Upper Thames, and uh, what we did was a custom roast for them, and it's exclusive to the brewery or the brick house or here at the shop. And uh, so that's a, just a blend of mediums and dark, and it's a, it's a really nice combination, very nice. Um, Another uh, collaboration was with um, Habitual Chocolate. Um, Philip combined our dark roasted coffee with his dark chocolate and put together a really, uh, a really nice chocolate bar for you know for the dark lover who likes that dark, rich, deep flavor. So good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. He did a very good job on that. So that's really nice. Yeah. So. If you want to get Early Bird coffee, come on in here or reach out to Early Bird on Facebook, email, their website, but definitely check them out. It smells so good in here, so it's definitely worth the trip. Um, anything else you want to add, Elio? We're, we're growing, we're evolving. There's a lot of uh, growth happening right now, so just keep an eye on what we're doing, I guess. Um, the shop here, uh, we, you know, we plan on having some tables and chairs, so come on in, have a cup of coffee and we're going to be expanding our retail to include 
uh, other local products. So we'll have coffee, we'll have chocolate, we'll have all sorts of things. Uh, maybe a little bit of apparel, uh, some mugs, you know. So you can kind of come in and, and get a full experience. Um, you can get up close and watch the machine, see how all that works. So it's, it's that sort of um, what to pay attention to. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for meeting with me today okay. and have a good one. All right. Thank yeah. you. Remember to shop the farm and not the aisle.